Hello world, it's Siddharth and I'm back with another video. So basically this is the last part. We'll be visualizing visualizing our filters on the photo what we give to our model. First of all, I apologize. My apologies that I'm uploading this video so late. Because I was working on my other projects and also I had my exams. So I'm sorry for that. I apologize. Sorry. Okay, so let's continue this. Let's end this. I'll end this project today. And I'll start up with the new project. Chatbot. Yeah. Um, maybe not that advanced. But still, you'll get a basic knowledge that how can you build a chatbot using SQL sequence model. Two RNNs get together, make a chatbot architecture network, right, basically. So, okay, let's get started. So... Um, I have restarted my cells, and as far as get trained, I will be continuing to code the rest of the function. So, def objective. So we're gonna pass in the parameter of data sets, DST, then guide features, which we have created the function um, above features. Sorry. And if you complain me, why are you showing your face? Cause this is uh, actually let's say this is an actual proof that I'm typing it, and I like I uh, not like basically I love to show my face while code while I code. I love it. I love it. I feel like the way I am. So if you have any doubt, I can't clear it uh, about showing my face while I code. Neglected. No regrets, though. Features. Okay. So if uh, guide feature is none, I want to say return DST dot data. So they said dot data. Oh, come on. So let me just use this bigger so you can see it clearly. Yeah. And also, it will be easier for me to see. Yeah. By the way, I like the blue box uh, tracking my face. Yeah. At least detected it, it's a face. <laughs> okay. Okay, that was a little funny. Sorry. <laughs> okay, let's continue this. So, dot data. Else. I'm oh, sorry. Else. Um, like else x equals to dst dot data, and just tell me how do you feel about this video? Like it's out after six months or so. I'm so it's too late. I know it's late. I had my exams. I had lots of things to go through. I have my few projects, but as I'm an enthusiast, I'm a learner. I need to keep on making videos to learn more and more stuff. So, we gotta create the video. So, my method of learning is whatever you learn, just create a video, teach to learn more effectively. Let me just make this. Okay, let me just uh, do like this. Do something so that it not. Um, so that it did not disturb me every time I type. That's uh, so where was I? Yeah, the way I learn is to whatever uh, whatever concept I learn, I just make a video on it, so that I can get to the conclusion of that topic. I can get clarify my doubts, because no one is here to solve your doubts. You're the own. You are your own teacher, basically. What am I? What I'm trying to say. So yeah, which equals to x dot shape. X equals to x dot reshape. And man, please subscribe by the though, because it uh, helps me. You know, it feels good when someone's like your video subscribes you on the basis of content. 
it helps me a lot to be like, and kind of enthusiastic, uh, make me more motivated sometimes. So just subscribe man. If you if you feel that it's helpful. If you don't, uh, it's upon you. It's your thumb. If you it's your, it's your fingers. It's your mobile phone. You can do whatever you want. So my hand, yeah, yeah, this hand. I do it well with whatever hands you want. It's there are no there are no uh, limitations now. So yeah, extra reshape. We gotta. So we are reshaping the channels in which we are. Um, Gonna insert, or uh, you can, um, to, in which we are gonna visualize our filters. That's our X. Then we need a Y. That's our X and a Y grid, just like this. So X and a Y. So, and you must be thinking that why am I doing like this type of camera show? Then there's no mouse tracker on screen because I, I don't know what happened because my Screen recorder, <coughs> excuse me, my screen recorder got corrupted, and if I try to re-download it, it's showing me a few errors. So I thought not to wait for that and hit the thing. Just go on with the code, cause show must go on. That's what I believe. Um, so objective. We're gonna have to return. Oh, so why will we an a dot argmax? So for a few people who don't know what argmax is, let me show you that. So it's okay. Uh, argmax. So Google will never lie to you. So in mathematics, the argument of make uh, maxima. Uh, abbreviated argmax or argmax are points of domain of some functions at which the function values are maximized. So let me just extend that a bit. The argument of the maxima are points of domain some functions at which function values are maximized in contrast to global maxima referring to the largest output of function. So, over here we're just maximizing the output. We're extending the output as far as we can. That's what argmax is used for. Maximizing the argument. And we are doing that by one. So, yep. I guess then the difference is equal to tor the torch dot dot. Mm, tensor and you must be think um, you must be uh, feeling this confusing this video maybe the series because you need to know the basic knowledge of PyTorch and also you need to know basic knowledge of Python Python basically so not, um, Python just for the arguments like argmax was a function of Python but, uh, but it's just a really rare function. It's a rare function. But about tensors and PyTorch, you need to know a bit about tensors. So to know all about tensors, there's a good website called, of course, PyTorch.org. Go there. There are documentations. You can follow their documentations. You can follow up there with their tutorials, and that should help you out. That's how I learn about uh, tensors. Actually, it's fairly a uh, really easy topic to learn. Maybe, but it can be covered in, like in this conversation, conversational video. You need to make a separate video for that because there are too many things to cover. So, uh, in terms of the tensor, we are reshaping the tensor with the channel of W. These are channels, width and height. Uh, the channel, the, the width of the channel, and the height of the channel. We are reshaping the so whatever tensor comes in, we're gonna reshape those tensors using CUDA. So I have my graphic card installed. So I hope that should 
ये गच्च गाओ डेफिनेशन सॉरी Uh, and remember one thing: as if are you a Python user, then you should have experienced this indentation errors. This causes due to spaces, the lack of spaces, the lack of required spaces between two functions. Like return if you type return, maybe like over here. If I just that if I run that. Mention it. So spacings is a let me say a lead role here. You need to um, be specific about your spaces. Okay, right, now I've I've not um, ended this statement. Wait, I don't like errors. Yeah, def max steps, and I'm gonna pass in the parameters of model vgg. Let me just check what was the spelling of the model. I guess it was a yeah, model which is here. Just to avoid errors. Model VGG, VGG okay. Then image. Then objective. Oh, come on, is it uh, small or capital? This confuses me a lot sometimes. Yeah, but it's, it's uh so passing this function. Okay, that's cool. So objective will be equals to objective. Equals to objective. And then control equals to none. And step size equals to five. Say end equal uh, equals to twenty eight. Then jitter equals to thirty two. Yep, that should be it. Decent. Looks decent. Yeah. So we have def mix step. Then we need. Our global use GPU. We're gonna allow our model to use, um, basically, uh, our algorithm to use our GPU. So, global use GPU. Yeah, those are functions. So, use GPU. Yeah. yeah, now we are good to go. So, we're gonna find a mean value of the array. Which we have the images on. Oh, come on. What's happening? Okay, yeah. So where are uh, the of the uh, so we need the um, array, the mean value of the array, where uh, where we are. Basically, um, reshaping our filters. Yeah, so we need to find out the mean value of the filters to visualize it. I guess yeah, that's how it works. So don't get the uh, misunderstand that I'm looking, I'm not looking at, you, at the camera, because the screen, the camera screen is right there, over here. So it's like attracting my attention. Don't think uh, so. There's no no something uh, such like when you're reading paper material. So you just check. There's nothing. There's nothing. It's me, my pants, me. It's just me. Just perfect. Yeah. 
No, it's good. So there's no uh, stupidity going on right here. Just I have my sample code. I'm not like Mr. Member or so. You need to do it on your own. So that uh, we need to do it everything on its own. I'm not like that. I'm not Mr. Member. Remember. I don't memorize code. I just understand the code. Perhaps. Yes. I do. Um. So yeah. MP diary says. So zero dot forty five. Like, look at the numbers. I can't remember these numbers. Four fifty six. So if you think that I'm doing it, but on my own, no, I'm not. I have reference code running. Which is to turn the cool fans. Much better. Because it was heating up. But reach me. I don't want it. Okay. She. <clears throat> Sorry. I think I got a cough. Great. So, reshape. Oh, um, no. Not reshape. Like three. Comma one, comma three. One. Yeah. STD standard, the MP dot array. So it's like the same thing. We just need to change the numbers. And I am lazy. I just need to change the numbers. What else? So two two is common. So we'll write that. To these comments, so nine, four, five. Good. So these are the array, uh, array values, I guess. Yeah, this is standard array values. What we are pulling in. Then we need ox comma oy equals to np dot random, random. We generate random numbers. Dot branded minus jitter then jitter we add us one and two. yeah these are parameters of our next step until OX and OY variables. I think I have uh, declared this somewhere. This is a variable. Okay, O X and O Y. Uh, because X has been declared over here, so I just named it O X and O Y. You can do it in any way you want. It's on you. So then we need image plus two. Uh, np dot roll image. So, I don't think it's all good. Yeah, and we got it. So, let's see what a row function means. Right here. So, I'm learning and doing coding, and I'm reading the uh, I'm recording the video as I go along. Python meaning. I don't mean shift axis of arrays. Um, okay, elements so all specified axis. Basically, what happens is that elements of the input array are being shifted. So, this is a point to notice. Basically, what happens is that elements of the input array is being shifted. First to last position. Okay. So, for example, if this array, this value, comes first, so we're gonna roll it to the last and this will come first. Get it? Got my point? I hope so. And what's the use of this? I'll tell you while I code. Like when you'll see the results. The well, results are astonishing though. Minus one. 
and a Y. Two. Then. Then tensa equals to torch. Dot tensor. An image. Then we need so image variable, image to variable. Well, basically we have that an image to variable function. Full steps. Okay, okay we have that in full steps. Okay, then, cool. Now we have that. <coughs> Then we image war will be image to variables. Remember, we had uh, we made a function which converts image to the variables so that we can play with it and also create those variables to tensors so that we can feed it into our model to get the uh, perfect result to get perfect results. Image to variable. So I'm gonna pass in the parameters of tensors that requires grade that is set to true CUDA equals to use GPU. I hope I don't get any errors while doing this. Because I don't know what's wrong with my graphics card. If there's a problem with CUDA, you can go with Colab, Google Colab. That's where I'm training my new project. So it's, I'm training a new project over here. My new chatbot, basically. But don't worry. I hope we don't get any errors. Look great. If we do get any errors, we I'll make uh, another video of two or three minutes in which I'll load everything on Google Colab. And we'll access it from there. Whole data, whole code, everything. We're gonna do it on cloud. If we don't get any, if don't get any errors, it's close to image war. Like I love X, the variable X, which opens up so many doors of mystery. So just think about that. Think over it while I code. Oh, no, you don't. Open up uh, your open up your Jupyter notebook and start coding with me. Why is this like model BGT? Say why well, I'm getting a um, small problem here. Did I define something like small or so? No, we don't. We didn't. Hold on. I'm just doing tension, tension of no cost. So this should be M. So where was I? I was on uh, for index layer in enumerate model VGG dot grade data dot data. We want power bar two. Then we have x equals to layers. Layer x. And just wait. You have patience. We'll see the output. Or actually, we are initializing our filters, right? We are initializing our filters. So, this video is just for initializing the filters. Next video, definitely the results. Because I need views. Smart. Use it. <laughs> I think so. I think so, it's a smart way to get views. Because if you do, um, you know, lots and lots of hard work, you need results. And to get results, you need smartness. I think this is the smart way. Ninja technique to get views. Now it's upon you. Like like my video, do whatever you want. I'm just my work is to give you knowledge, and I'm giving you that. 
giving you the code, I'm giving you everything you need to build this algorithm. So, though I have no GitHub repository right now, but I will make one and um, publish this code officially on GitHub. So, Delta backwards. So, this is for back propagation. X dot backward says for back propagation. You're using a back propagation. So, let me just comment that out. Back propagation. Propagation. Let me let me remember. So L two we are let's regular. So we need now we need to regularize our gradients. So regularize regularization of basically regularization of gradients. gradients. So mean square equals to torch dot tensor. I have right here tensor. I'll make torch dot mean. Okay, let me check one thing. Just one thing. That do I have my system gate overlaying? And okay, let's make it quick and um, okay, let's make it quick and okay, yeah, because it will take more and more space as I continue. So, and I'm feeling kind of hungry, so I'm gonna do it really quick. So, let me just type uh, the few of the lines and I'll explain you what do I mean with that. So the square dot mean, so mean value of mean value of image tensors and image y, where we pass in the parameter, uh, no, pass in the function of image two variable, then the data gradient, gray data two. So this uh, this stands for squaring. This stands for squaring. If use GPU mean square, the whole code is dependent upon GPU. If you don't have a GPU, go to Google Colab. That will fulfill your dreams, I guess. I mess up with spending sometimes. CUDA. What happened? It's not my okay. Where don't talk. Now we have image to image war dot grade dot da uh, data the what what it equals to Torch tensor square, not square root. We need square root like one is tensor. So let's see. If you have four as tensor, so we need the square root whatever the answer is. It's two. So whatever the answer comes up with, we now concatenate with this with the mean square. We now multiply it with the mean square. Square squirt. That's what we call squirt. Basically, stands for square root. And mean square mean square <coughs> so that's this is the same thing I'm just gonna just a little bit of tweak I am lazy I'm proud to say that I'm a lazy I'm kind of proud to say that is it all and uh, two dot dot add and add this with the image war this is um image war is like is it the capital uh 
No, it's not. It's not capital. I'm scared that it is capital amount. Yeah, it's not capital. Great. Ah. We have that. We have that. Then we need to gradient. So gradient stands for gradient descent. So uh, okay. So let me just make. Sure. Let's be sure. So dot grade. Because never uh, Google never lies. What does it mean? Auto grade. All values specified for skeleton. So never computation where. Okay, gradient. Okay, okay, this is good at all. Pointer. Value tensor and auto grades. So, really, compute auto gradients, compute gradients. As I told you before, we are to calculate the gradient data. So, basically, to calculate gradient data and multiple the step size. Uh, then, what's the result? Goes to image var dot data dot cpu and make a balance of cpu dot numpy. So whatever the numpy thing is gonna run on cpu and whatever do the folder uh, visualization it's gonna run on gpu just to make uh, process much faster. <coughs> Excuse me. Result equals to this is about to finish. Wait, it's about to finish this function. It's quite long. Row, row, MP, uh, so MP dot row, MP dot row results. Uh, the results are uh, no, results, no, result equals to minus OX. Minus one, uh, that would make minus O Y. That would make minus two. Then I want the result to store into an array. The result is uh, okay. Not this array of zero. Then whatever the arguments comes in. I'm not judging. I won't judge. Whatever argument comes in, that will be the result of the array. Oh, uh, then empty dot clip. Now clipping is to um, is used for clipping gradients. When you uh, when you have the following, uh, when you have the well, you falling at the drastically at low rate, just clip the gradients and set back the values to the original. That's what clipping function is, mp dot clip. So mp dot clip then comes up with so we're clip of results. So there are uh, chances to uh, of low rate number decreasions. So you just need to extrapolate it. I think. Yeah, you need to extrapolate your values to that and reset it back to the original point so zero argument zero argument zero minus mean divided by std <coughs> then what sorry one minus mean Slash std show tensor result and that's it. Then we want to return. Okay, then we want to return torch dot torch dot, uh, dot tensor. The result. Let's run this if we see. 
And let's see if we have any ears. Oh, thank God we don't. Thank goodness we don't have any ears. So last thing, so we need our controls. So our deep dream. Deep dream. So what this will do is, this will give the full control of the our transitions. Deep dream. So you want to say model VGG base image on which we are going to perform the style transfer then step function equals to make step yeah make step then we have the octave function so we are passing up the parameters now sorry the functions now octave will be equals to octave then octave scale okay octave scale i will make equals to octave scale then zero plus a uh, comma then we need iteration numbers so the iteration numbers are the numbers to uh, the number of batches needed for one epoch to go to the home network Required by one epoch, so we need number of iterations from the pre-trained model. Let's say iter number. So that's what it stands for. Iter number. Oh, come on. Then we need end equals to end. Control equals to control. Boom. Okay. Okay. Control. So objective equals to objective step size equals to oh, sorry, equals step size equals to step size. So that's the last block of code. Then this will really, I'll end this video because it's getting a bit um tiny, right? So this is the main content though. Then we will visualize our filters on the base image for the transfer. So this is a really basic uh, algorithm. It's not that advanced, but uh, whatever you uh, what if we have used uh, the pre-trained model, right? So what we will do is maybe in the future we'll create another series of videos in which we'll make the pre-trained model. Yeah, we'll build our own model to do the style transfer using PyTorch because I'm love PyTorch. PyTorch is great. The just is also great. I love that. No regrets. <laughs> okay. So jitter equals to jitter. Oh my god. Yeah. Wait. Uh, okay. Yeah. So this was. I don't think so. Stop. Oh, I did this wrong. This was. This is the return function. Okay, we have wrote this. We wrote this. Sorry, um, I'm sorry for that. Tomorrow, we, oh, that's what I was thinking. Why didn't we? Why aren't we defining our? Why aren't we defining our variables? Like, why don't aren't we passing on the parameters? Passing on the parameters. Now we got it. Now I got this. The base image. Base image stuff. So what we can do is so call this whole thing thing. Then uh, except for next step, we'll put the values. So step function. We don't have step function, so get the hell out. We have base, so get in. That will be so octave number. Octave numbers will be equals to six. So octave scales will be equals to one point four. The duration number will be the duration number will be ten. N will be twenty eight. Then uh, control will be none. For now, we don't need it. Objective equals objective step size equals to 
저 있죠. 오케이, okay. so we have this. Now one more thing to do is to right here. Do this. What I need over here is return return Octavia function. This do does the magic Octavia fn. So let's see if it works. Here's a lot of syntax where base image. Here's a lot of syntax. 